Hey, this is David Fennell, and I'm making this video to show you how to use the Card Game Simulator app. As you can see on my screen, you can download the app on your preferred platform from cardgamesimulator.com. I'm using a Mac for this video, but the app will work similarly if you're on your phone or Windows. So let's go ahead and start the app. After a quick two second splash screen, you'll see the title screen. Any input from keyboard and mouse will take us to the main menu. So, a key feature of CGS is the ability to create and download custom card games. We can choose which card game we want to play by clicking on this top banner here. Uh, the traditional 52 playing cards are pre-installed and selected by default, but we can download other card games by clicking on this download button here. Here we have the download menu where we need to enter the URL from where we will download our desired card game. You can see that there are buttons for dominoes, standard playing cards, and mahjong. Uh, as an example, I'll click the dominoes button. Clicking that button automatically populated this text box for the dominoes download. Now that the URL is entered and the download button is active, we could go ahead and hit the download button to start playing some dominoes. We might be interested in a newer card game though. We'll hit clear. Let's play the open source card game Archmage. If you're not familiar with Archmage, I highly recommend you check them out at archmage.org. Uh, in terms of playing Archmage in CGS, I do have the URL from where you can download the info ready. It's kind of lengthy, so instead of typing it out here, uh, I copied it to my clipboard earlier, and I'll just paste it here now. And you can see the URL is populated. So let's go ahead and download. It'll take a couple seconds for the download to finish, but when it does, we'll be taken back to the game selection menu with Archmage already selected for us. So we can just go ahead and hit OK. Now that we have Archmage ready, let's actually start a game. Hit the Play Game button, and we'll be prompted to choose which deck we want to play with. Uh, if we had stuck with standard playing cards, we would pretty much just have to choose uh, either a you know, straight 52 card deck or if we wanted to use a deck with jokers in it. Likewise, for dominoes, we would choose whether to play with the common double six domino set or with the less common double nine domino set. Here for Rock Mage, we have a few pre constructed decks with the option to modify them or create new ones. Let's just use the default Cayenne Love for Life deck. Uh, so let's load. After the deck loads, uh, it will prompt to draw our starting hand of seven cards. We do want to, so we'll hit yes. Uh, from here, we could do what's referred to as gold fishing, where we play the game by ourselves with just our deck. Uh, gold fishing can be useful to get a feel for how our deck plays before playing it in a real match. It isn't very exciting though, so let's introduce a uh, mock opponent. Uh, let's see here, let's go back, yes, so I'm actually starting up a game on my phone right now, uh, and to join that game, we can go ahead and press play game again, and you can see a IP address is shown up here where the phone it is actually playing the game. So we can go ahead and hit that and join. Uh, now it's asking us to see if we want to join that game with the same deck. Uh, each player in Archmage has their own deck, so we want to hit no. In case of something like um, standard playing cards, you would probably want to hit yes there. Alright, so now we get the deck selection menu as before. So we'll go ahead and load the Guy and for Life deck again. And draw our starting hand. So, the first thing to note is where we've loaded our deck. Uh, like many card games, Archmage is easier to set up if you have certain cards separate from the rest of your deck. So you just knows that, and you'll need access to the cities uh, labeled here. 
Uh, typically, in that in, well, in the Archmage, we'll have multiple cities immediately on the field at the start of the game. So we can go ahead and just drag them onto the field by dragging and dropping like so. Now we're ready to examine our main deck. We can close out the, the city's container and look at the container right below it for the main deck. Uh, so, what similarly as to what we just did, we can double click it to expand the entire list of all the cards in that deck. We can drag left and right to look through the cards that are in there currently, where the leftmost side uh, can indicates the very top of the deck and the rightmost side indicates the bottom of the deck. We can also take cards from out and put it into our hand or likewise put them onto the field and we can go ahead and close that again by clicking there. Um, but now we know the contents of the deck. Uh, so we can probably want to shuffle it so that we don't know it. We can do that by right clicking and dragging and I see it shows shuffled. So speaking of rotating, um, that action that we just took is also how we rotate cards on the field. So you can right click and rotate any cards that are on the field. Alright, there's also the ability to rotate cards by clicking twice on a card. So I'm sure you noticed when I clicked the first time this info bar showed up. Uh, it contains all the information about the card that you have selected, like its name, its ID, uh, and whatever text that may be you initially interested in. Uh, for example, you have the rules text for what the card does, uh, flavor text, loyalty, any information specific to the card game that you're looking at right now. You can either scroll through them with these buttons or with the uh, drop down. So you can even find cards based off these properties. If you scroll up here on the bar, you can click find cards and bring up the card search menu. You can select which property you're interested in and hit search. For example, if I want a cool magic card, I'll select the magic filter and hit search. Magic. Search. And this will populate the results in this orange container here. And one thing to note is that these results don't come from within the deck that we loaded earlier. They come from the entire database of all Archmage cards. So if we take a card from here, and drag it into the game will effectively be creating a new card from outside the game. So we can close that. The last couple of things you may be interested in during the game are the points counter and the dice. The points counter up here is useful to keep track of your score. And uh, you know, Occupy doesn't use victory points currently, but um, if you play with that set of rules, you can actually track that there. Uh, then another thing to look at is the possibility to use dice. So you can click here to bring up the dice menu and choose what kind of dice you want between 1 and 6 as the default. So we'll create one of those. Automatically rolls for us. We can put it on a card to keep track of the level it is, for example. And we can increment it manually. And of course, you can also re-roll it. Alright, so we know how to use the interface to potentially play out a game, but we might also want to make our own custom deck. So let's go back to the main menu and hit the edit deck button. Here we have the top half of the screen with the layout for all the cards in our deck, and the bottom half of the screen with the layout of all the cards you could potentially add to it. Uh, so before we start adding our own deck, let's look at what a pre-constructed deck looks like. Let's go ahead and load the Guy and Love for Life deck again. You can see it populated all of the slots here 
with the tech as it exists. We can actually move cards around between these stacks, but we don't want to do that just yet. For now, let's create our own new custom deck. So, the first thing we want to do is add cities, right? Every deck requires cities. So, let's get in some cities. Typically, start with three. So, let's go ahead and put, I don't know, just three random cities in here. And then we want to uh, populate the remaining cards in the deck. Let's put on some extra filters for what kind of cards you might be interested in. You can double click on a card, automatically add it. So let's do that. You can scroll through the search results here as we continue to add cards. Alright, so I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and save this deck that we've created. Hitting the save button. And by giving it a name. Uh, we'll call this uh, test deck. That's basically what it is for now. And we'll save. So now we're done here. We can go back to the main menu. And just go over some last remaining things. Uh, basically the options button. Uh, here, the only thing specific to the game that we're currently playing is the few rules online, which will take you to the Arc Mage rules currently. It will take you to a different card game rules if you know have a different card game selected. Uh, next link takes you to the CGS homepage at cardgamesimulator.com. Below that, we have a link to the possible keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you should check this out if you want to learn all the ins and outs of how to use the app. And finally, you can uh, contact the developer, me, at uh, david at finoldigital.com. I would love to hear from you. So please contact me if you have any further questions, concerns, or comments.